There's a whole pharmacy wearing off on us right now, so uh, let's make this quick. But it's ten easy questions about Shit's Creek. Will you need a paddle? Question one. What is the name of the town that the Roses own? Well, did you get it? But Shit's Creek is the name of the show. Uh, I'm not re-recording that. That one's staying in. Question two. Now that they're here in the town of Shit's Creek, where are they staying? Like, they don't they don't have fancy houses anymore, so they must be staying at the motel with adjoining rooms. That's fun. Question three. Who whoms is the super helpful mayor mayor of Shit's Creek? That would be Roland Shit. I have nothing. Question four. Who is the motel clerk and cleaner and operator and only person who works there, maybe? Stevie! Stevie! Stevie, let your hair hang down. Question five. Who who whoms works at the local cafe? It's like what they're doing at the moment, but it's like not a whole thing, you know, or unless it is. Twyla. And every time I hear or say Twyla, I think Twilight because my brain is broken. Question six. Who whomst does Alexis do community service with? And sees through the bushes. Up to something no good. No, something fine. It's Mutt. Which is a perfectly cromulent name. Question seven. What was the name of the Roses company before, well, you know, everything came crumbling down? Rose Video. Definitely, definitely a wholesome video distributor, I'm sure. Question eight. What is the name of the local veterinarian? Veterinarian? What is the name of the local veteran? Arian. Ted! I bet he's better off. Ha ha ha. Cancelled shows. Sad face. Question nine. Who who whomst have a fling together? It's like a thing. You wouldn't expect it to be a thing, but it is kind of a thing. It's... Stevie and David Da. Wow. Question 10. What collection of accessories does Moira have individual names for? I'ma call you Zabafa and you Sassafras and it's her wigs. In the frantic opening, you can see her having to pick between her children, which she knows the names of, unlike Alexis. But how did you do? Do you know the names of all the answers to all the questions I asked? Did you type them in the comments below? Don't do that, they're spoilers. You can just tell me your score. I trust you. You're a very trustworthy person. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And there's more Shit's Creek to come, so subscribe and come back, please. Ugh. Ugh. Finally, in the right cabin. Oh, dearie. Oh, me. Oh, my. What are we doing? All right, ready? Okay, let's go. I'm sure ready. I'm ready. Question one. Uh, how do the Roses arrive in Shit's Creek? Since their Cessna got impounded, I'm sure of it. Via bus? Oh, no. That's how the poor people get around. Question two. Uh, can you name any member of the town council? Bonus points if you can name all three, but you just need one to get the, the point. You know, we're nice like that. Bob, Ray, or Ronnie? Did you get any one of those? Help yourself to a point! Question three. Uh, what is the name of the local cafe? Cafeteria? No. Cafetra? No. Cafe Tropical. Mate. I hear the Long Island iced teas are quite nice. Question four. Uh, what show was Moira on? Like, she was an actor, right? So she was actoring on Sunrise Bay. What a delightful soap, I'm sure that was. Question five. Uh, what does Jocelyn do for work? Like, what's she doing from the nine to five? Well, not nine to five, because she teaches high school. Ha ha ha, that was a misdirection. Did you fall for it? Probably not. Question six. What type of party do Alexis and David attend when they're new in town? Stevie, taking pity. On the Richies. A tailgate party. What is a tailgate? Wait, I saw the show. I know what a tailgate party is. Question seven. What landmark in town is somewhat questionably designed? Little emphasis on the somewhat there. The town sign. Welcome to Shit's Creek. <laughs> oh, they mustn't have been looking at the bus's windows, eh? Hey? Question eight. 
the town party theme? <gasps> Hawaiian party! Oh, we celebrate with Canadian pizza. Question nine. What is the next town over that is bigger than Shit's Creek? And don't say something gross, okay? The real answer is Elmdale. Da 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 I'm sure. Question 10. Uh, what event does Johnny use to cover Moira's surprise party? Is it Gene Parmesan? No, it's a fundraising event. Aw, oh, wait. Does that mean he didn't actually raise the money for that? Anyway, don't think about that. Think about your score and post it in the comments below. And then like, share, and subscribe, all right? You want more Shits Creek? Well, I can get you more Shits Creek. Look under my trench coat. Um, yeah, I, I'm holding open one flap of my trench coat and there's more Shits Creek under there, but you got to like, share, and subscribe, okay? This bit fell apart, I'm sorry. Now, the story of a wealthy family who lost everything and the one son who had no choice but to put all of his clothes in a different closet. It's Shits Creek! Hey, that's the name of the show. Question one. What is the name of Alexis's boyfriend at the start of the season? A lot of S siblings sounds here today. Stavros. But luckily, I have a pop filter, so you don't hear. And question two. Who who whoms is the only real estate agent in town? The only game in town, fella. You want to play ball? It's Ray, who isn't a transatlantic gangster from the 40s. Don't worry about it. Question three. Who who whoms did Moira play on? Sunrise Bay. Bay. Vivian Blake. I want to say Esquire, but I don't actually know. It just feels right. Question four. What was the name of Rose's business manager? Heavy air quotes on business and manager. Eli. Oh, no. No, sweet Eli. Question five. What do David and Alexis call doing each other favours? And if you think we spelled favours wrong, you should spend more time answering the question. Taking a selfish. Honestly, that's pretty good lingo, honestly. But honestly, it's question six. Who who whomst owns the local winery? With lots of fruits and ladybugs. That would be Herb Etlinger. Etlinger. Wow, really should practice that name. And I'm not going to. Question seven. What cosmetics brand do Moira and David try to sell? Get back in the game. You know, business up some business. How are you? Question 8. Who uses wine as an analogy for sexuality? It's a pretty decent explanation, isn't it? If you think about it. I'm not going to think about it. It's Stevie! Good on you, Stevie. Using analogies. It's like a thought with another thought's hat on it. Question 9. Who who whoms is Moira's sister? Hmm. Hermana. That would be... Dee Dee, when did you get out of the lab? Oh no. Question 10. How much was the original contract for Shit's Creek? For, like, dollars. You know, not cents, because none of this makes sense, goddammit. That would be. 975,000. Da 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 da. Am I ever going to stop quoting rent? Only when the memories of watching it leave. But did you get all the questions right, or did some of the right answers leave you when you were trying to call them up from the depths of your memories? Let me know in the comments below. Ah! Please like and subscribe, thank you. These questions are hiding in the darkness, waiting for nightfall. Are you ready to catch them? Well, alrighty then. 10 unfair questions about Shit's Creek Season 1. Good luck. Question 1. What channel is missing from the Roses TV when they first arrive at the motel? Channel 19. I hate it when I'm missing prime numbered TV channels. Question two. How big is Shit's Creek? Okay, I'm not gonna do a rent thing for this one, I promise, all right? All right, you've earned that much now. 4,500 acres. I have no idea how big that is. Question three. What is the name of Roland's great-grandfather? You know, the one about the paradox. That's a joke, for all my... No, it's not. Horace Shit. That's a good old-timey great-grandpa name. Question four. 
What colour are Alexis's eyes? And yes, we spelled colour correctly. They're aqua. Does that make Alexis a Barbie girl? <laughs> Humour. Question five. Which season of Sunrise Bay was Moira drunk for most of? Season three. Season tres. Question six. What is the name of the smoothie that Ted sometimes prescribes to clear out his patients? Ah, napalm. No, that's not it. The Meadow Harvest. <laughs> this will get him good. Question seven. Bob's brother dies. Sad for a Bob. What was his name? Not Bob's name. Don't say Bob's name, okay? Say Bob's brother's name. Carl. Thank you. Sorry about your loss, Bob. About your brother, Carl. Question eight. What are the names of the two dogs Ted is looking after when Alexis stays over? You need both of them. This isn't like the medium one. You need to say both of them to get the point. Macy and Pfeiffer. Would it have been funnier if they were named Pfeiffer and Michelle? We'll never know. Question nine. What type of modelling did Moira do at a microwave trade show? At a microwave trade show. Hand modelling. Good gig if you can get it, I dare say. But we need to moisturise a bit more before I'm there. Question 10. What is Alexis's middle name? Oh, now we're into hard mode. Moira's getting 9 out of 10 at best here. <gasps> Claire! Alexis Claire Rose. ACR. Advanced Combat Rifle. I'm... Losing my mind, but did you lose any of the questions? Did you get fewer than 10 right? Well, tell me all about it in the comments below, and I'll give you a big old good on you, champ, for giving it your best shot. Like, share, and subscribe. More quivias on the way. Are you ready for some more shit trivia? Well, shit's creek. I'm not swearing, okay, YouTube, so don't, don't perma ban us, okay? We're cool, right? We're cool, we're cool. Question one. Who's whom's, whom's missing at the start of the season? Someone's not here right now. Who could it possibly be? David. Aw, uh, oh, David's gone. Sad. Question two. Who, whom, whom's does Alexis start a relationship with this season? Ooh, Alexis, getting out there. Mart. Oh, oh my. Oh, Alexis. Question three. What is the name of the local singing group? I almost pronounced that as signing, but that would have been wrong. And we all know that I never mispronounce anything. The Jazza Gals. That's a pretty good, pretty good name. Better than Gina's group's name. Anyway, question four. Who, whom, whom's is Bob's wife and a member of the Jazza Gals? So who's Bob's wife? Gwen. Stacy? No, that's a different, that's a different query entirely. Question five. Who, whom, whom is the first member of the family to get sick while in Schitt's Creek? Their immune systems have held up this far. Alexis. Aw, oh, ew, ah, sick, ah. Question six. Where does David find work? He just looks under a rock, he picks it up and goes, ooh, there's work. That's where he finds work. Ah. <sighs> No, it's actually at the Blouse Barn. The Blouse Barn. That's a fun one to say. Question seven. And Alexis works for... Ted's Veterinary Clinic. Of fate. What a twist. Question eight. What does David get as part of his job that causes some friction with the family? Ah, oh, freedom at last. Brum, brum, go, go. Question nine. What organization does Moira run for? In a little arc, it would be... Town Council. We succession now, baby. Question ten. Who, whom's, whom's does she run against when she runs up that hill? That hill being Capitol Hill, or the local equivalent thereof. Jocelyn? Oh my gosh, Alan. But how did you do it in? Did you get a 10 out of 10? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe, share, and wait for more Quivia, because there will be a medium Quivia on Wednesday. I guarantee it. And I will see you there.
Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, bye. We're back for more Shit's Creek trivia here on Quivia. Or is it a quiz? That's the joke. That's the show. Ten million questions. Let's go. Let's go. Question one. So, David was missing, right, for three days. Who was he exactly? Like, where did he go? Cotton Eye Joe? An Amish farm. Something, something paradise. Make your own weird owl joke here, okay? Question two. What quote-unquote family recipe does Moira make? Showing off her culinary skills. Enceladas. Fold it in. Oh my goodness. Yes, that was oh my god and oh my goodness combined. Deal with it. Question three. Where does Johnny set up office space? The movie. Not the movie. At Bob's garage. Garage? Garage. Car hole. Sure. Question four. What skill typically taught in childhood does Matt teach Alexis? Mutt. Matt. Mutt. Matt. Mutt. Matt. How to ride a bike. Oh, you never forget. Tisk tisk tisk. Question five. David misunderstands what business expense program. It's kind of a, you know, small thing, just a little whoopsie doopsie. Happens to the best of us, right? Tax write-offs. Oh no, David. No, 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 no. Question six. What notable change to his appearance does Mutt make? He's not Matt. I've never called him Matt. I deleted the segment where I called him Matt. Shaving off his beard. Oh no. He's going to shave off his head too. Then all his powers will be gone. Question seven. What game do Stevie and David do at the bar together? The game of life. No. Monopoly. Monopsony. They play pool. Oh no, pool's cool. Grew up in a place where you could play pool. It was great. Question eight. Who, whom, whomst is the owner of the blouse barn? Bed, blouse, and beyond? Barnond? Mm, Should have workshopped this. Wendy! Everyone's favourite corduroy wearing sales assistant. Question nine. Who, whom, whomst briefly stays in the motel with the roses? That would be who, whomst? Roland! Oh, Roland, doing your best, aren't you, bud? Question 10. What event is celebrated at the end of the season? After all, we've come so far, so why shouldn't we celebrate... Johnny and Moira's anniversary. Aww. Anyway. Good for them. Subscribe, share, like, comment your score. And maybe I'll reply to that comment. You'll never know. Unless you get a notification or check, then you will know. So leave a comment. So I can leave a comment. So we can all comment together. And come back on Friday for more Quivia. Woo! Psst. Hey, do you want to hear about the best kept secret in, like, broadcast television of, like, the last ten years? Well, you're here for season two, right? So you already know. Question one. What does David construct for his nits? His nits, you twits. It's a cedar chest. Easy. Come on. Wait, no, this is hard. Question two. Where are the Jazza Girl rehearsals held? You gotta hide them somewhere, right? Not hide them. Hold them. You gotta hold them somewhere. And that somewhere is the Town Hall. Okay, maybe I could have guessed that one. Let's be honest. But probably not. Question three. What business idea does Johnny pitch around that Roland and Bob run with? Of course, that's Baggles. Wait, no, that's a different beloved sitcom. Bagels, there we go. Question four. How much is the Rose's tab at the local cafe when Twyla calls it in? Come on, Twyla. How much have they got? $560, my God. How do you spend that at a cafe? Sorry, I lost my call there. Question five. What does Moira try and find online? She goes looking... She tries to find her own nudes. Moira, my goodness. Question six. What group does Ronnie organise for Moira to speak to? Because she's got to, you know, talk in between her Googling and her binging. The Women's Business Associate. Dun, dun, dun. Question seven. The blouse barn is originally from... Where's it from, eh? It comes from a land down under. Bum, bum. Yeah, 
Australia. Crikey, hey. Question eight. What type of milk does Bob drink? There are different kinds of milk. Oh my God. Unpasteurized. FDA is gonna hate you. Question nine. How much does Wendy from Blouse Barn give David? Really need to be paying attention to numbers in this quivia. Of course that would be $40,000. That's like more than $39,999. Question 10. What is the name of Mutt's new girlfriend? Shh, don't let anyone hear you say. Tennessee. That's like in my top 50 US states. But how did you do? Did you get in the top 50 of people who've done this quivia? Well, let me know in the comments below. And also, while you're there, tell me why I'm whispering, because I kind of forgot, like, what bit was I doing? Um, oh, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube stuff. Whoa! Well, hopefully this creek we find ourselves in isn't too... Oh, no! No, just kidding. 10 unfair questions for Shits Creek Season 2. You better be ready for this. Question 1. Who, whom, whomst makes the best butter? Which I believe is French for butter. Better butter can be had from Mariam. Good on you, Mariam. Churn that butter. Churn it real. I'm going to leave that thought alone. Question 2. How old is David? If you had to put a number on it, which you do because I'm telling you to... 31 years old, not a relatable number at all. Anyway, next question. Question three. Why did the Jazza Gals go to New York City? Was it to fight Gina Linetti for some reason? It usually is. That's why I go to New York City. Little Towns, Big Voices Festival. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Question four. I bet Gina wasn't even there. How much did Jocelyn pay for the mattress from the estate sale? Oh, that's never how you want to buy a mattress. Ugh. $201. Winning bid. Two hundo and uno. Question five. What is the name of the wheelchair user trying to get a ramp at the post office? More like post accessibility office. Jennifer. Because, no, pre access Oh, I've really fumbled that ball, hey. Question six. What game is frequently on Stevie's computer screen? Doom 1995. Oh, you love shareware, don't you, Stevie? No, it's Sudoku, which is probably better than Doom at this point. There, I said it. Much trickier. Question seven. What is David's pin? His personal identification number? I need all four digits here. There's only like 10,000 opportunities, right? You can guess. 7283, his birthday. Oh, that's much easier. Oh, that's, why is this even unfair? Question eight. What was the name of the old secretary at the veterinary clinic? Helen, long ago, ah, uh, well, question nine, what number house is Ronnie at? Yo, ah, uh, dog, where you at, where you at, what house number are you being at? Where did that come from? What was any of that? 61, I don't have any fun song references for that, I'm sorry. Question 10, I failed you. What was Roland and Jocelyn's wedding song? Aww, we're gonna end on a nice heartwarming one, right? Don't cry out loud. Wow, 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 wow. But did you cry out loud? Well, if you did, it's probably because you didn't get many questions right. So just let us know how many you got in the comments below and then like, share, and subscribe to us. Or if you have to do one thing, just tell a friend hey, watch this quivia. I think you'd like it and get zero out of ten. Bye. Can you answer ten easy questions about Shits Creek Season 3? I think you can, I believe in you. Let's go. Question... No, wait, hang on. Yeah, question one, there we go. Uh, I've done so many of these, my timing is immaculate. Question one. David and Stevie each start a relationship with who? Whom? Whom? Psst. Jake. ba da -bup. Wrong Jake. Um, good on you, Jake. Question two. What big purchase do the roses make this saison? Finally getting out that checkbook and getting a car! Beep beep toot toot toot! Chugga chugga big red car? Question 3. Who, whom, whomst becomes the new owner of the motel? Who's getting into the business world? Stevie. Good on you, Stevie. 
you know, small business owners should stick together. Question four. And who, whom, whom's partners with her to help bring the motel to life? Bring me to Johnny. See, you thought I was going to go Evanescence there, didn't you? That's the key. I never, I sometimes go Evanescence. Question five. What business does David take on me? The general star. Yes, I can hit the high note, but I'm not going to do it right now. Question six. Which new face comes on board to help him out? He said, doing a vague Shatner impersonation. Patrick? Patrick? Hello, this is Patrick. I can't do that voice. I'm sorry. Question seven. The store gets a rename before opening. What's the new name? Where are my Vuvuzelas at? Rose Apothecary. Our drawers have drawers in the drawers. There's so many drawers. Question eight. Alexis decides to complete what notable goal during this season? And honestly, it's a good goal. High school. High school never ends. Ba, 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 ba. Question nine. What old possession do the roses regain? But decide, I'm gonna shed it here, to leave behind their large family portrait. Pictures of you, pictures of me. Question 10. Name either of the two events celebrated in the Saison finale. That would be Alexis's graduation and or David's birthday. One of these is slightly more important than the other, but I'll let you decide. Speaking of you decide, you should decide to like, share, and subscribe, and also tell me in the comments, A, firstly, how'd you do? How many questions did you get right? And then B, what what should we do? Not to improve, because we're perfect, but rather, what property should we do after we finish with Shits Creek? Because there's so many out there. Thanks, bye. Can you answer 10 medium questions about Shits Creek Season 3? Well, can you? I believe you can, because I believe in you. All right, you ready? Okay, let's go. Question one. Who, whom, whomst asks Alexis to water his plants while he's out of town on a trip? <laughs> See you next fall. <laughs> Got him. Mutt. I'll allow it, Mutt. Just this once. Question two. What did David do for work before the fall of Rose video? What was his trabaha that he went to? He ran art galleries. He's a gallerist. A glamorous gallerist at Thatamist. I wonder if it pays well. Question three. Who, whom, whomst works a day in the cafe while Twyla is injured? That would be Johnny, of course. He's worked a day in his life before, so this should be fine, right? No hijinks. Question four. Why did Alexis not like hanging out with Moira as a kid, as a chitlin, as a kinder? Like if you know that one. That would be because of the media slash fan attention. It's all too much. Papa, paparazzi. Question five. What important thing does David get? Hint, he has to pass a test. Of course, that would be driver's license, a perfectly mediocre song. <laughs> Question six. What event does Twyla host for the town? She's out here between the hours of 6.30 and 9.30 at night doing stuff. That's Twilight. A murder mystery night. Those are my favourite kinds of nights. Why the hell wasn't I invited? Question seven. Ted is dating someone on the DL down low. Who is it? I had to really resist going into the DK rap right then. I want you to know. You're welcome. Heather. Wait, the one from the musical? On Riverdale? Ha 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 ha. That's a joke. Question eight. Who's, whom's, whom's this class does Alexis end up in to finish her high school diploma? That would be... Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Whoa, a song. Question nine. Moira working for the motel front desk for Stevie results in what? What do you get when Moira works the front desk? Whoa, a negative review? No, I can't stand negative reviews. Question 10. Which former couple share a smooch but don't ultimately get back together? We are never ever Ted and Alexis, sad face. Like, share, and subscribe. Put in your comments below how you did on the quiz. Give us a score out of 10. Your score. And then 
give us a score out of 10. And then, see this end card? Okay, that was a joke early. Not that one, this one. Ah. And then share it with a friend. And then tell us, what quivias would you like on which properties of movies? Let us know, please. Can you answer 10 hard questions about Shit's Creek Season 3? Well, can you? Because they're coming up right now. And you better be ready, because they're, they're pretty hard. All right, question one. Who, whom, whom's is Johnny's first meeting of the season? The inciting incident day season tres is Amy Grace with the Scream Nastics. I enjoyed seeing Scream Nastic 6 in cinemas this year. Question two. What is the name of the movie Moira auditions for? Who is she playing for? What role? The Crows Have Eyes 2. Answering all the unanswered questions from the Crows Have Eyes 1. Question three. What is the name of the all-male strip club outside of town? Now, most of these places have pretty punny names, so you got to have something, right? It's the Dude Cave. I think that's three doors down from the Love Shack. Question four. What's the first item Johnny adds to the motel's continental breakfast? <laughs> Pedro Morales, intercontinental breakfast, more like it. That would be cinnamon buns. And if I say those two words as a portmanteau of each other, I'll get sued. Question five. What business wanted to move into the general store before David took it on? Took it on. Christmas world. Question six. Patrick first drops by the store, especially to give David what? A bam pow right in the kisser? No, his business license. Do Americans need business licenses? Wow. Question seven. David is selling his products under what sustainable model? And don't say like solar power or something, because that's not a model. That works. We know how that works. Consignment. That's a process where you put your stuff in the store, and then when people would give you the money, you give them the money. The suppliers, I think. I didn't look it up. Question eight. Moira and Royland attend what out of town together? Just getting my weird accents on. The Municipalities Conference Conference. <laughs> Question nine. And she stuns the conference with what? What does Moira pull out at this conference that she stuns them with? A speech. Final words were never spoken. Question ten. What song do the jazz gals sing at Alexis graduation? Is it vitamin C? No. Baby, I'm yours. I don't know the melody. I'm sorry. But how did you do? Are you sorry? You better not be, because you do you, boo. And let us know how many you got right out of 10. And while you're there in the comments, suggest another thing for us to do a quiver on. We've done so many based on people's suggestions. Don't even check the numbers. And then like, share, and subscribe, because we like having you here. Thanks. Bye. See you again. Ain't no paddles here. Can you answer 10 unfair questions about Shit's Creek Season 3? Question one. The exterior of Bob's garage assures what can be completed fast? What can be completed fast? Oil changes. That should be a fast thing, says a person who got a car specifically so he didn't have to do that. Question two. What year was Schitt's Creek Incorporated? Not as like a particular what to do, but as a town. 1895, that's my favourite Bowling for Soup song. Question three. How old was Stevie's great aunt Maureen? About as old as my great aunt Euphemia. Sag. 78? That's, okay, uh, it's not that long, really, if you think about it. Question four. What event is on in Elmadale when Johnny unwittingly rents motel rooms out by the hour? Accountants Conference. Whew, you know those accountants, crafty buggers. Question five. Who, whom, whomst looks at putting together a stay and golf weekend with the motel? Tiger Woods, Greg Harvey, Greg Norman. I don't know many golf guys. Elm Glen Golf Club. Say that five times fast. Elm Glen Golf Club. Okay, it's not that hard. Question six. And what motel feature is apparently very popular with the golfers? Gophers? Jacuzzi! It's my favourite way to accuse someone. Question seven. That's profoundly stupid. 
Johnny carries around a photo from Alexis's high school graduation, except Alexis never graduated high school. Who, whom, whom says it actually? Jess Chang. Question eight. What was David's call ticket at Ray's? B13. Well, I love their song, The Love Shack. Question nine. Patrick is allergic to what? Uh, shake on? Penicillin? Beads? No, it's cats. Who could possibly be allergic to the furry cute little death machines? Question 10. Alexis was away when Rosa sat for their grand portrait. Instead, they painted her face on this person's body. Who, who, who sat in for her? Johnny's assistant. I was going to say Jess Chang again, but no, we changed it up on you. That's a community reference. If you want us to do community, leave it in the comments below. Share with your friends, like, share, and subscribe. And if this wasn't unfair for you enough, well, just try living in the modern world. That's a joke for legal purposes. But, you know, for realsies, self-care is important. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Appreciate your time. Love you. Bye. Can you answer 10 easy questions about Shit's Creek Season 4? Well, probably, but let's find out together. Question one. The day after celebrating a full motel for the first time, what tragedy befalls a guest? They die. More like the Hotel Bella Morte. <laughs> Mike Elgarome. It's question two. Alexis tackles what type of education this season? After conquering high school, she goes to the lofty heights of college. America. Question three. And after completing said college, what profession does Alexis get into? What is her... Oh, I forgot the word. Publicity! No, I didn't forget that word. Vocation, that's the word I forgot. I wish I could forget publicity. Question four. Someone's having a baby! Who, whom, whomst is it? It's, of course, Jocelyn! Good on you, Jocelyn. Hard work. Question five. After some soul searching, which two individuals realize they are best friends? Stevie and David. You've got to give the people what they want. Haha. <laughs> ah, Excalibur. Question six. Patrick and David host this type of event at Rose Apothecary to drum up a business. An open mic night. Oh, where's my guitar? It's around here somewhere. Question seven. Patrick and David, speaking of, have a brief relationship hiccup when David meets who, whom, whomst. Patrick's ex fiance Is that the right amount of E's and diacriticals? I can never remember. Question eight. The town holds what event to bring in tourists? It's a nice little thing you can do to bring in some extra people. Singles week. Should have been couples week. Would have brought in twice as many people. Question nine. Which couple reunites by season's end? Oh, they fall back together in each other's arms. Lovey-dovey like. Ted and Alexis. Oh, long-term booking paying off. Question ten. The season is rounded out with a very special episode focusing on what holiday? Tis the season, it's Christmas! Or Xmas, if you're so inclined. But are you so inclined to tell us in the comments what score you got out of 10? Because we really want to know. How easy were the questions? We need stats to back it up. And then you can come back on Wednesday for a medium quiz, unless you live in a different time zone. But two days after this is posted, there'll be a medium one. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Can you answer 10 medium questions about Shit's Creek Season 4? Well, can ya? Nah, they're medium. They're not hard. You can do it, because I believe in you. Let's go. Question 1. The motel gets a new name this season. What is it? The Nom de Hotel, if you were to use that phrase, which I don't know why you would. The Rosebud. I thought that was a sled. Or a teddy bear. Hmm. Question two. And who, whom, whom starts working at the motel as a handyman? Houndyman. That'd be Roland. Roland. Question three. Where does Patrick 
live? Actually, that's a great question. Where does he live? Does he live with you? Because he doesn't live with me. Where does he live? A room at Ray's house. Oh, right. Of course. Question four. Ted's girlfriend, Heather, starts applying Rose Apothecary with what thanks to Alexis's help? Goat cheese. Oh, yeah, they're moving right along in Saju Valley, aren't they? They got the goat cheese going. Question five. Rather than a baby shower, Jocelyn has a what? What does Jocelyn have? A sprinkle. No, that's nice and not something I'm going to think about. Question six. The group of teens frequenting Rose Apothecary are doing what? What are these teens doing? Are they skateboarding? Are they vaping? No, they're shoplifting. Oh no, bad teens, bad. Teenager scare, question seven. Who whom becomes the godfather to Roland and Jocelyn's baby? Baby. Johnny. Whoa. No, there's no more than that, sorry. Question eight. What do roses host that results in Patrick running into his ex fiance I hope that's the right amount of diacriticals, because them French words be weird. A BBQ. A barbecue. The extra B is for bring your own barbecue, Simpsons references. Question nine. The barbecue was to celebrate David and Patrick's four month anniversary. What's notable about that anniversary? David's longest relationship. Ah, uh, good on you, David. Question 10. During the motel rollout, people start getting rashes. Johnny blames David's product, but they're actually caused by what? Poison oak in the vases. Sorry, I'll take that again. Poison oak in the vases. There we go. I've made both sets of people both happy and sad. Isn't that impressive? But is your score impressive? Let us know in the comments down below. And also, what properties would you like to see after Shit's Creek? You know, we might, we'll look at your comments, reread the comments. We might even do some of them. So like, share, and subscribe for more Quivia. Because there'll be a hard quiz on Friday. Bye. Shit's Creek Season 4. Can you answer four hard questions about Shit's Creek Season 4? Or can you answer ten hard questions about Season 4? Or some linear combination thereof? Let's find out. Question 1. Moira fears she played a hand in killing the guest who dies in the motel because she denied him what? CPR, EpiPen, life-saving medication. Some painkillers. It takes my pain away. Question 2. David and Moira perform at the fundraiser to remove what from the town? Ah, the McClackety curse. Oh no, just asbestos. That's a pretty good thing to get rid of, you know. Silicosis is not good. Question three. What is the name of the dating app Alexis tries out? You know, just take a word and then remove a letter, like blur. Bumpkin. All the jokes I can make here are not PG. Question four. The shoplifting teens often buy what from a rose apothecary to help cover their tracks. Where did this accent come from? I simply do not know. Gum! And occasionally a lip balm too. Question 5. An old friend of Alexis's visits town and offers her a job. What's her name? Claire. With a K. But where you think it is? Question six. Jocelyn and Moira become prospective jurors for a case of what charge? Positive or negative? Credit? Embezzlement. Oh, the dramatic irony. Oh. Question seven. When Ted mistakenly sends Alexis a text meant for Heather, he asserts he's more of a this kind of guy. More of a beer and nachos kind of guy. More of a bagel guy. You know? Just... They need to be toasted, but they are better. Question 8. What is Roland Jr.'s middle name? He of the three names, Jr., what be thy second name? Moira. Oh, that's nice. That's so wholesome and sweet. Question 9. How long have the roses been in Shit's Creek by Christmas time? Did you be impressed that I could roll the eye there? Roll eyes. Around two years. Should have done the rent thing. Question 10. What did David and Alexis always get as Christmas gifts from Johnny and Moira before they lost their money? Before the inciting incident of the show. Checks. 
Wow. But if you put your score in the comments below, I can check it and see how you did and congratulate or commiserate or, you know, heart the comment. And while you're there, like, share and subscribe. Ring a ding ding the bell, which is just a thing that I have to say now, and then suggest what things you want to quiz you on. We'll do it. Bet. All right, Creek heads. Wait, should I have done the other one? Probably not. Ten unfair questions. Shits Creek season four. I guarantee you, you're not ready for these questions. Hashtag all your money back. That's a joke. Question one. In what room did the man die at the motel? That would be room four and not the Hotel de las Mortes. That's a Michael Grime answer. Reference. Question two. How often does Shits Creek hold its asbestos festos? <laughs> <laughs> Asbestos Festus. Uh, it's an annual event. Like Deerfest. Question three. What is the street number of Rose Apothecary? They really apothecary. Re. Drew Carey show. 225. It's a number. It's five cubed. Or is it? Question four. David has just recently discovered he's allergic to what? Real lot of allergy questions recently. Pitted fruits! Yeah, man, olives just suck, okay? I know people aren't going to like me for that, but it's the truth, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Question five. The first flowers to arrive after Moira's death are from who whom whom Trick question! There was no name on the card! No name on the card! Question six, question six, question six! What is the combination to the council safe? Gloria Estefan's birthday, September 1st, 57. Question 7. Patrick's first job was at a Rose Video branch. Which branch was it? And don't say of the tree. 785. 785. Question 8. Stevie and David pretend to be honeymooners aware and don't say on the TV show the same name. That got cancelled a long time ago. <laughs> At the Crystal Elms. 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 Question 9. What discount are singles offered for dining at Cafe Tropical during Singles Week? Is it going to be like a dollar like a single? A two for one for two singles eating together. <laughs> Question 10. What call number is Jocelyn for jury duty? 525,600 and something. I can't remember the rent song. It would be number 233333, which is a prime number. But how did you score? Did you score a prime number? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want us to do something on Quibi and ask you truly, truly unfair goddamn questions about it, also let us know in the comments below. But remember to look after yourself. Because, like... You know, that's important too, as well as like, sharing, and subscribe. Is that as important? No, but is it important? Also, yes. Bye. Hola. Can you answer 10 easy questions about Shit's Creek Season 5? Nice easy 5 questions to get you warmed up. Let's go. Question 1. Moira begins the season in Bosnia doing what? What good? What is there to do in Bosnia or Herzegovina? I don't know the difference. Filming the crows have eyes 3. The crowing. Question two. Upon her return, Moira finds love letters belonging to who, whom, whomst. Of course, that would be Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, hey. Johnny, whoops, Johnny, hey. Question three. Who, whom, whomst decides to move out of Ray's house to somewhere with a little more room? That would be Patrick. Patrick's need their room, or those starfishes need their space. Question four. Who, whom, whomst babysits Roland Jr. when Roland and Jocelyn's babysitter cancels at the last minute before a night together? Johnny and Moira, and exactly no shenanigans or hijinks ensued. It's like Paddington movies. Question five. During a very expensive time for the Rosebud Motel and the Roses, Moira purchases what? She purchases a dress. For the premiere of her movie. Yeah, fair. Question six. The local community theatre is putting on which musical? Theatre. Theatre? Theatre. Cabaret. Or 
cabaret if you don't like pronouncing things properly. Question 7. In her audition for Sally Bowles, Alexa sings the infamous title track to a reality show of the same name. What's it called? And of course, that would be a little bit Alexis. Even when it's not, but it is. Question 8. After that misadventure, who does Moira offer the part of Sally Bowles to? Liza Minnelli? Camilla Mendez? No! Stevie! Stevie! Let your Sally get on. That fell apart in my mouth. Question 9. Ted is offered the opportunity to go on a research program where? Where are you? The Galapagos Islands. I cannot sleep. I cannot count turtles tonight. Question 10. Who whom whomst gets engaged by the end of the season? The season? It is a season of love for Patrick and David. Good on them, honestly. You know, it's, it's tricky in this world to find that. And, uh, yeah. Are you a Lamborghini? Are you a Hollywood star? Are you a little bit of tipsy when you drive your car? Seriously, don't do that. Are you an expensive sushi? A cute, huge yacht? A little bit single, even when you're not? Well, okay, well, that one's up to you and your partners. You know, consent's important. Bye. Okay, we turn up the heat a bit. Can you answer 10 medium difficulty questions about Shit's Creek? Sis on five. Let's go! Question 1. Who whom whomst acts as a plant at the Rosebud Motel to win over visiting travel blogger Emir Kaplan? Wait, Mr. Kaplan's in this? That would be Stevie. Getting a lot of acting time, Stevie. Question 2. A feature of her premiere dress she's keen to keep quiet, Moira purchased this ready-to-go type of fashion. Off the rack! Oh, I don't know what that's like at all. Question three. Patrick throws a slumber party themed housewarming party when a game of spin the bottle results in a kiss between these two. David and Ted. Oh my. Question four. Rose Apothecary is getting what update to better serve the community and sales during events? A bathroom. Donde esta el baño? Aquí! Question 5. This Zumba-loving, newly single parent comes to town to visit her son all the while sending vibes Johnny's way. Cheryl Mullins? Ted's mum? Question 6. Who whom whomst is the captain of the baseball team representing Bob's Garage? Ronnie. Good on you, Ronnie. Represent. Ronnie, represent. Question seven. And Ronnie and Roland recruit who, whom, whoms to fill in when Stevie pulls out of the championship game. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, won't you play the game? Question eight. David runs into this former employer at the Schitt's Creek Flea Market selling dubious products. The ACCC would be all over this. Wendy. Corduroy? No, different Wendy, probably, presumably. Question 9. When Moira is occupied, Johnny steps in to carry out this annual town councillor duty. Duty? Mare's Roast! Oh my, that's going to go well. Question 10. Emily Hampshire's Stevie belts out a wonderful rendition of this cabaret song, a true classic. Maybe this time I'll be lucky Maybe this time he'll stay Maybe this time for the first time Love won't hurry away He will hold me fast Oh, God, that feels good. So, 10 hard questions. Let's go. Question one. What gift from Ted did Alexis rehome with Twyla? I love rehoming gifts. Such a fun way of saying it. A locket for her pocket? I wonder if the shop stocks it. Question two. This critical piece of infrastructure is on the fritz at the motel. Gosh, those dang fritzes at it again. The hot water tank. 
Yeah, that's a real quality of life one. You're going to want to get that one looked at. Question three. Stevie lures David to Elm Valley under the guise of seeing what at the Botanical Garden? Cherry Blossoms. I went to the Perth Botanical Gardens recently. Very nice. Did a lot of walking. Question four. What is the name of Ted's new receptionist? Is there a better off Ted joke here? I'm not quite certain. Sorry. Shannon. They went to vet school together. Question five. The Jazz Gals were supposed to see what band at the casino before it was cancelled because the venue was double booked. Poison! Running through my veins! Ah, oh, Question six. While hawking her products at Schitt's Creek Flea Market, Wendy introduces this new David-esque business partner. Antonio. Does anyone else hear flamenco guitars? Question seven. Or is it just me? Moira spilled the ending of the Crows Have Eyes movie to Alexis the day she got back. How does it end? With a crow apocalypse. Of all the questions on Queerview, I think that one is guessable, actually. Question eight. Patrick and Stevie do what together to help their cabaret performance? Private dance lessons. Yeah, I, I could use some of those. I try to do the dance from Helena. It's really hard. Question nine. Name either of Patrick's parents? There's two, so, you know, one or both, if you want to show off and get 11 out of 10, I suppose. Marcy und Clint. Did you get either one? E any Anyone's good enough for a point. Question 10. Johnny has a trip to the emergency room. Everyone fears the worst, but it was this causing his symptoms. Severe heartburn. Ooh, that's a tough one. You really don't want severe heartburn. Heartburn's bad enough. But were your scores bad enough or good enough to brag about in the comments below? Well, why don't you go put them on down there and then subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, watch it again. Go watch one of our playlists. It's really fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. And yes, that was true about the Helena thing. See ya. Can you answer 10 unfair questions about Shit's Creek season five? You better be ready. Question one. Who, whom, whomst is the director of The Crows Have Eyes 3? The Crowening. Blair. Blair who? Mononym. Spicy. Question two. What gift from Heather did Ted keep? The musical? A candy store. A waterproof watch. That's actually just like a nice thing. Question three. Alexis mentions she once did a book report on what? What should she do a book report on? David's Diary. Ooh, scandalous. An invasion of privacy. Anyway, question four. What floor is Patrick's new apartment on? There are so many floors. There must be one. The third floor. Ah, ah, ah. Question five. How often are Roland and Jocelyn's couple's massage masseuses available? Say that five times fast. I will not. Once a month. That's quite the availability. Question six. The Rose Video Health and Safety Instructional Video has Moira retrieving what video cassette for a customer? Best Body Swaps of Sunrise Bay, Season 21. Question seven. What award does the Rosebud Motel win at the Regional Hospitality Awards? They win the Best Customer Service in a Motel Under 20 Units Award. Question 8. What was the name of Johnny's Hebrew School baseball team? That would be... The Flying Lutkas. They ended up in fourth place. Fair effort. No podium, though. Question nine. What was the name of the cat Johnny hit with the car? Oh, no, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Sergio. What a dope name for a cat, actually. Question ten. What's Patrick's license plate? It's an unfair quivia. Time for license plate trivia. That would be Whiskey Hotel 
Sergio. Four, eight, two. Shield. But how did you do? Are you Seth Rollins in your grave? No, that doesn't make any sense. A madman Dean Ambrose in the comments. Roman Reigns was there too. Heck, like, share, and subscribe. Score in the comments. Keep watching more Quivia, please. This has fallen off the rails. Bye. You can't answer 10 easy questions about Shit's Creek Season 6, can you? Come on, prove it, stranger. But I believe you, you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. Question 1. Where is Alexa supposed to be heading off to this season? Where or where in the weird wide world is she going? The Galapagos Islands. I was desperately trying not to pronounce it the Galapagos Islands, because that would get people mad, presumably. Question 2. Roland and Jocelyn become official partners in the Rosebud group when they remortgage their house to do what? Buy a second motel. The American dream. Mortgaging your house for more real estate. Question 3. Who, whom, whomst did David choose as his maid of honour? And yes, we spelled honour correctly. Stevie, 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 please be my maid of honour. Question 4. What is released at the Shits Creek premiere of The Crows Have Eyes 3? The Crowening. Actual, factual crows. Because of course they were. Question 5. Which of Moira's iconic projects is getting a reboot? Time to reboot Sunrise Bay. Question 6. As Ted is offered a prominent job in the Galapagos and Alexis is everyone's new favourite publicist, what do they decide is best for their relationship? Breaking up. Big sad. Single tear. No fear. Question 7. When the outlook on their second motel looks rough, what do the team at the Rosebud decide to do? <gasps> Expand their motel chain. You know what? Double down, increase the debt, no regret. Question 8. Where is Alexis moving to continue doing her PR work? Public relations. New York. Something, something, dreams are bacon. That's what they're made of. Question 9. What threatens to ruin David and Patrick's wedding day? It's like rain on your wedding day. Or is it? Question 10. Who, whom, whomst fills in as officiant for la big day? El Alto Dia? El Dia Alto. Moira. No, that's... Grande. El Grande Dia. El Dia Grande. There we go. Got there in the end. Moira. Moira's the answer. Um, well, shoot. I'm not great at Spanish, but were you great at this quiz? Let us know your score in the comments below. That's what the comments are for. Or six or eight. I'll have a match you got. Like, share, and subscribe. Come back for more. Can you answer ten medium questions about Shit's Creek Season 6? Okay, that was space enough for you to answer, but here come the questions. Now it's time for the real answers. Question one. Patrick and David initially consider the Elbridge Manor as a wedding venue, but back out when they find out about what? Just up the road. A pig farm! Air horn noise, air horn noise. Question two. Moira gets online to do what? To promote the Crows movie. Promotional material. A social media takeover. Hopefully hostile. She comes from the corporate world, kind of. Question three. And while Moira is live streaming, she divulges that when excited, David may do one overnight. Vet the bed. David. Ew. Question four. Though it happens to all of people. When Stevie wants to see what's going out there in the weird wide world, she goes to an interview to be what? A flight attendant. That's a good way to rack up some loyalty miles. I mean, kilometers. Question five. Who's, whom's, whom's the only person in town who, whom, whom's doesn't seem to like the trailer for the Crows Have Eyes 3? Jocelyn, Jocelyn, please don't take my movie. Question six. What suite at the new motel do both the Roses and the Shits vie over to stay the night in? 
Let's hear it for the presidential suite. Question seven, moving on. What is the name of Moira's character on Sunrise Bay? Her Yama is Vivian Blake at your service. Mother to Daphne. Question eight. What is Patrick's part of the Bachelor Party? Patrick's part of the Bachelor Party. Patrick's part of the Bachelor Party. Patrick's part of the Bachelor Party is an escape room. I could say it three times fast. Question nine. What will Stevie's job be in the new Rosebud Motel Group Empire? Setting up the new motels. I shredded my voice singing Biffy Clyro. So this is what I sound like now. Question 10. Twyla offers Alexis how much money to establish herself in New York. One million dollars. But are you the mountain? Are you the sea? Can you take your score away from me? And put it in the comments below. And then like, share and subscribe. Then come back on Friday, Friday. There's a hard quivia on Friday. Yeah, I forgot to write a joke for that bit. The little outro thing. Bye. Can you answer 10 hard questions about Shit's Creek season six? I don't think you can. Prove me wrong. Question one. After being shelved, the Crows Have Eyes movie is picked up by which streaming service? A lot of sibilances today. Interflix. Badum. Badum. Badum, badum, ba. Question two. The Rosebud Motel first looks at expanding with a second motel, this time in Elm Glen. Name either of the previous owners. Benny and or Betty Turkstra. Question three. And the motel comes with a long-term tenant with this occupation. There's a siblings, if you make it. Lawyer, prosecutor to be exact, which we aim to be. Question four. Patrick undergoes surgery for what? Leading to some fun drug-induced antics, as all antics are. Wisdom teeth removal. Where'd they go? I used to have teeth there. Now I don't. Question five. Who, whom, whoms is Bob staying with after his breakup with Gwen? Sad. Ronnie. Ronnie. Ronnie, let your hair hang down. Question six. Our local vintner, Herb Etlinger, is back. What's the name of his newest wine? The Moira Rosé? Question seven. Alexis is the regional representative for this cult. Uh, we mean fitness brand. CrossFit! No, that's a joke for legal purposes. Elevation! ba 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 Question eight. What is wrong with the second Rosebud Group Motel? That's U2 Elevation joke if you didn't get it. Oh, not really a joke. I just sunk a bit of it. Termites in the foundations. Would you say the foundations are of decay? I would. Question nine. Who, whom, whoms was Moira's contentious co-star on Sunrise Bay? Clifton Sparks. At your service, but not really. I'm contentious. Question ten. What is the name of Johnny's former assistant, now a VC venture capitalist? Slowly ruining the economy one bad investment at a time. Mike Morrison! 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 But did you do better than VC in terms of the economy? Probably not, unfortunately. But leave your score in the comments below. Prove me wrong if you got a good score at Hard Quivia. Then like, then share, then subscribe. And then come back for more Quivia on Monday and share it to a friend. Bye! Can you answer 10 unfair questions about Shit's Creek Season 6? It all culminates here. You better be ready. Question 1. Who, whom, whomst is the venue manager at the Elmbridge Manor? Clive is... Clive is the manager. Question two. What is the name of Alexis's pet turtle? Tut tut. 
Ted. Better off turtle. Question three. Which room is the long-term tenant staying in at the second motel? That would be room six. Question four. What is the name of Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's book? That would be Fast Forward to Success, a business book. Question five. After the premiere for The Crows movie goes viral, Moira goes on which talk show? The View? No. Morning Live with Bob and Lizzie. Question six. What is the name of Alexis's rebound? It would be ephemerate. Spell with rebound. Artie Camden. Not Ziff. Question seven. What publication did a study on the effect of prolonged viewing of Sunrise Bay? And of course, that would be the New England Journal of Medicine, which is an American journal. Question eight. List all of Moira's demands to return to Sunrise Bay. They are... That Clifton be written out of the show, Death of Moira's Choosing, More Money, and a Diamond Tennis Racket. Question nine. The Jazza Gals are throwing a going away party that Moira mistakes for herself, but it's actually for... Grace. See ya, Grace. Question 10. Finally, as the roses leave the motel, which room needs a turn down? Turn down for what? Room 7. It's closing time. Leave your scores in the comments below. I haven't heard this song in 10 years. Please subscribe and like and share with all your friends. Bye.